All right, today I have a, a small object. It's 20 millimeters wide, and I want to cut as many as possible on a sheet. Now, the only problem is, since I don't use any reinforcement, at the very end of the path, the part would come loose and not cut right. One of the solutions is to put bridges but it gives you a lot of work to remove the bridges afterwards you have to sand and things like that there is another solution it involves bridges so I make the bridge as wide as this and um, sizes have already be, been preset so I'm going to put the bridges on as you can see the bridges are here but I'm going to remove these I'm going to replace this one. Okay, so now it's just at the right spot, and I'm going to remove the arrays right now just to show what it does. And it's not going to be pretty because it's going to leave all this side uncut because. I made the bridge as high as the whole thing here. So let's see what it's going to do. Right, so as expected, uh, it's not going to cut on this side at all. So it's go just going to leave it. So it's going to cut everything except this side. However, when you do use the array, and you recalculate excuse me <clears throat> then the next pass is going to lip or free the part because it's going to cut on this side so look the next pass frees up the old thing so that means that you're going to waste one at the end here the last one is not going to be used but um, I will save a lot of um, bridging and sanding and things like that so to sacrifice one little piece here is not really a problem and you could use if you want to uh, optimize this further you could use the whole sheet and just the very last one to sacrifice it then you would lose even less so for flat objects this is one way to use the arrays which will help your piece be completely held um, but uh, without moving uh, for the whole process until the very end thanks for watching i hope this helps and uh, i'll be making some more videos so please subscribe have a nice day